these shirts. And by the way, we're doing a giveaway at the end of this. Nice. We're giving away this right here. This is the cam mic, which we're going we're gonna to listen to in a second. And then I'm also going to be giving away an education piece from Cinema Sound. Look at that guy. He's going to be giving you something, which is cool. Who is that guy? Who is that bald guy? All right, so input, we said. How do we get a microphone into a camera? But once we get it in there, we have problems. For example, the sample rate, the bit depth, and the worst one is compression. Most cameras, the default setting is 16-bit. Sometimes it's 441, which is like a great setting if it's 1982. And then it's some kind of compressed format, MP3, MP4, some crazy setting like this. And while it takes a small amount of space, the damage that it does to your audio is really intense. Plus, you know, you can record on MP3 and play it back, and it'll sound okay. But the minute you have to do an EQ, change the volume, add a limiter, do a de -esser, add a limiter, I mean, uh, add a whole mastering process, it sounds awful, grainy. It sounds like putting sand in your earballs, you know what I mean? So we want to record an uncompressed, name an uncompressed audio format. Wave, what's another one? AIF, right? Those are your two. Not AAC, not MP3. Record at full bandwidth PCN wave or AIF. 24 bit, 48 kilohertz or higher. 96 kilohertz is even better. Most cameras don't want to do that. Some do, which is great. But the higher you can get it, the better. No compressed formats. Here's the other problem. To get audio into this camera, there's a thing called an analog to digital converter. Most of the time, those are awful and they're noisy. It's the thing that takes the analog waves, the voltage, and then turns it into bits. Most of the time, that's awful. So whatever we have to do to get the sound going in as good as possible, we have to do, because we know it's gonna get degraded. The, the last thing, and the worst one, is the camera that's on. I mean, sorry, the microphone that's on the camera. I'm, I'm not talking about this one. This we put on there. We're gonna talk about this in a second. The one that's built in, this camera, I don't know if you can see. As good as the visual are, there's two little dots right here. And that's the microphone that you're supposed to be using to get professional sound? No, no. Even for reference audio, it's lousy. You wanna hear how lousy? Sure, we'll, we'll, I'll show you in a second. Check it out. So I'm gonna move this away. This is a very dangerous situation we have here. We've got, we're gonna have open microphones with a PA system at NAB with all the noise. So you're gonna, we might get a little feedback so we can't turn it up too loud in case our neighbors get mad. Like that. See how nice that is? Is that this? Okay, so turn me off for a second. Let's see here. Actually, this is, sorry, this is 11. No, I'm not hearing anything. There it is. Okay, I'm just tapping this thing. So here's me at the camera. Turn up a little bit more. Check one, two, one, two, three. Can you hear me in there? What else do you hear? Everything. I'm right at this. I could be here and it's still going to sound the same. I could be over here and it's still going to sound the same. Except I want to record somebody that's in front of the lens, right? But it still sounds the same over here. So what am I really going to pick up? Everything. And this guy is sort of over here. And if I'm back here, it's just, you're hearing my voice more than hearing this, okay? This is no solution. Not a solution. So what I have as a solution up here, remember what um, Ernesto said, what was a great way to get, what was a great connector for a camera? Uh, XLR, what's your name? Humberto. 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 Oh, Humberto. All right, so I'm gonna plug this in. This is a, uh, <laughs> a dead shoe. This is a dead shoe. Well, it's a cold shoe now that has phantom power and one of these, because this is the only way to get into this camera. So we're going to plug this into the camera. This is coming out, now going into the microphone input, and we're coming out of the headphone. But I am XLR from this Ceremonic TM7. Now this is a, what I call an ultra cardioid. That means it's very narrow. It's a shotgun mic. I hate the word shotgun mic. 
Everybody fired a shotgun? Anybody? Yeah, it, what does it do? So look, look at Humberto, do it again. It goes like this. Well, that's not what a shotgun microphone does. A shotgun microphone goes like this, right? It puts it all together and it makes that sound. Like this. Yeah. And very, very narrow. This is one of the most narrow shotgun microphones. I want to call it a rifle microphone. By the way, folks, these seats right here, these are the only seats at NAB where nobody gets mad if you sit in them. So you can just sit here. We've got free t-shirts here and a giveaway. Where'd you get that? That looks good. Back to the shotgun mic. See, they all looked. Sorry. So uh, this should be the camera. Yeah, turn this away from the speakers. All right. This has a low cut filter, two low cut filters, a high frequency shelf boost, and it's super narrow. What do you got? Can't hear you. Oh, let me turn it. There we go. I can hear that. Okay, so I'm on with this, and as soon as I go off axis, I'm dead. It sounds like you're getting a little feedback, but as soon as I'm back here, I'm back on, and then I'm dead. Dead. Back on, dead. So with this microphone, because it's so narrow, you're not going to pick up anybody over here, anybody over here, even anybody off axis. If you're shooting two people or more, you got a problem with this microphone. It's not designed for that. It's designed for one person. Which, if you're doing an interview, that's what you want. And it's full bandwidth. It's got lots of low frequencies, lots of high frequencies, a nice, you know, it's very flat, which is what we want. Because we don't want some crazy thing boosting around in post. You know what I mean? Okay, good. Any questions about this? This is a hyper party going right Any questions? Well, in out here, both of the speakers, but you can get about 30 feet. So if I didn't have these speakers on, I'd point it at you, I'd miss him, and I'd get you really, really good. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, the same with the TM1, which I have. I'm here. Hey. TM1 is uh, for. This is sort of its little brother, um, not quite as narrow, better for if you have two people on camera. Fits in here just the same, right? Uh, it has a battery. Both of these, by the way, I forgot to mention, have batteries. So you can run it without phantom power if you don't happen to have it. Like if you just have a camera, you don't happen to have one of these, not a problem. Low frequency cutoff, high frequency boost. This is the high frequency boost on, sibilant, sibilant, sibilant. Off, sibilant, 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 on. Sibilant, 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 yeah? Great for things like Foley. If you need to do, anybody not know what Foley is? You know what it is. You know what it is? Great. You don't know what Foley is? I don't, I don't know. You foley. don't know what Foley is? Cam doesn't know. Foley, foley is any sound on picture that, your human, that the human body makes. Footsteps, clothing, like, like what Ernesto did. No, yeah, Ernesto. Clapping is another great one people forget about. Kissing, skin, hair, don't do that. Do it later. Um, Doorknobs. And one of the things that people don't realize, I don't have any keys, no I don't. Who's got keys? I got keys. Got keys? Let me borrow these. So this is Foley. This is Foley. This is a sound effect. You know why? This is Foley. This sound effect. You know why? Nobody, no takers? Because you don't see it? It's an action, but it happened without me. So this is not me. This is Foley. This is not, technically speaking. Now in your mix, you're probably going to put it in Foley anyway, but technically speaking, that's a sound effect because it's a drop. Thank you. That was a sound effect because I let go of it until he picked it up and then it was Foley. Confusing, just put him in Foley tracks, but don't be confused. This is the TM1 and this is 199. This is 299, 399. 
100 hour batteries, lithium ion. Okay, so these are what you would also see on a boom pole, right? You could put these on a boom pole. Ceramonic, I just found out yesterday, makes a boom pole, which is way better than the one that I have. So I'm gonna see if I can get one from them. TM7, which is there. There's the boom pole, look at this. Super dope. And this is one of those boom poles. You, have you ever used a boom pole where you, it goes out super big, super long, and then when you wanna put it back together, you can't ever tighten it. These things just keep spinning. You know what I'm talking about? This is the first one of these I've used that doesn't do that. It actually will lock. You can get done. It's, yeah. Check it out. Okay, now we're going to go into some more camera microphones. And these are camera microphones that are cold shoe. They fit onto this. And some of these actually, well, no, I'll just stick with that. All right, here we go. This will be 11, and I'm going to pull 12. These have AA batteries. They're not lithium ion. Cold shoe. I'm gonna go with this one. This is the am I on something? I'm on my own It's lovely. This is the V Mic Pro. Yeah, V Mic Pro is eleven. And this is the uh, V Mic twelve. The smaller one's the V-Mic, and then the bigger one's the V-Mic Pro. Now, a lot of people get confused. They're like, hey, Mark, what is the perfect microphone? I need, what's the perfect microphone? And I'm like, well, that's like saying, how long is a piece of string, right? You can't ever know. What's the application? So, Humberto, what do you do with microphones? Roberto. Oh, you're lighting. Ernesto, what do you do? Broadcast. Okay, cool. What's your name? Charles, what do you do? What kind of video making? All of it. Well, then you've got to buy a lot of microphones. Because there's no one microphone that solves all of it. But let's say you were a run and gun, or ENG, or you did reality. Right? There's no way for you to set up a split system where you have audio somewhere else, unless you did it on your phone, which we're going to talk about in the next hour. So you've got to have a microphone on a camera, which I don't really like. Uh, okay, okay, I, I okay. wish always for a split system, but if you can't, then you gotta have run and with the camera, you have to do V Mic Pro has exactly the same uh, functions as the V Mic, but it has a very different sound for a very different purpose, right? So this one is nice, you can tell lots of bass response to it. It has a bass cut off, which I think is on or off. There's with it on. Yeah, this is the low frequency cutoff on, this is with it off, and this is with the high frequency shelf on, this is with it off. Sibilant, 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 off, on, sibilant, sibilant, sibilant. So it's a really nice wide frequency microphone. The V mic, which is the smaller one over here. Am I? This is a, this is, listen to the difference here. This is your V mic. A lot higher frequency, a lot higher, uh, you know, for maybe female dialogue, for sure, this is a, a great choice. It has the same thing, a low, a low cut, on, it goes, now my low frequencies are totally cut off, and then the high frequency shelf, with it on, sibilant, 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 with it off, sibilant, 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 and with it on, sibilant, sibilant, sibilant. The V mic is 119, and the V mic Pro is 159, right? How much better are these 